So now, what's happening is white folks is moving all into the neighborhood, and you stupid niggas is being nice to them. Welcome in, into the neighborhood. Trying to talk like him and everything. Kissing the fuck up to the white cracker like you always been doing. Now, <clears throat> while the white folks moving up in the neighborhood, all of a sudden on Ridge Avenue, 23rd Ridge, they shut down the check cashing place. So what is that telling you? When they, check, when they shut down the check cashing place, right, every third of the month, every first of the month, people is all outside the fucking doors cashing their checks. So now what they do after they cash their checks? They run into the stores all around Ridge Avenue and start spending their money. So now the Koreans and the uh, Hispanic around there is having field day. But now since the check cashing place is gone, they don't do that. Some people do get it on their cards. It is a little quicker, but it's not like it used to be because it used to be a flood of people up in the stores after the you know after they cash their checks. So what they do, they go to another goddamn neighborhood and cash their checks. And it's liable that when they cash their checks in those neighborhoods, that there is more um, stores around that area. So most of the time, they're not going to run all the way back here to um, the 23rd Ridge to go shopping. They're just going to shop right around there. And then they're going to catch the bus or get in the car and go home, you know, like they usually do. Now... <clears throat> I've been telling these stupid ass niggas forever. And now I'm telling you that the check cash in place was the pinnacle of the financial system around that whole part of the neighborhood of Ridge Avenue. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. So unless they open up another check cash in place, business is going to be slow. And I know this shit is not moving nowhere near like it is on Ridge Avenue. But the stupid niggas is still out there. All they want to do is get drunk and fight and walk around with their pants hanging off their ass. The women want to give up all their fucking money to get their nails done and get their hair done by these goddamn chinks that's down the street. And um, and these goddamn Spanish, uh, these fucking spicks all over the place that really don't give a fuck about us. And I keep telling it, it, it it's a few of them that's nice. And, and, and right now, I actually work in a store with a Korean man. He is very smart. Very smart man. I have to admit that. He knows exactly, you know, got his business going on. And he's paying me. And he's not, you know, bad. But look, none of them really care about us. None of them really care about us. Because if push come to shove, <clears throat> he going to be the fuck out of there. And guess what? I don't blame him. Because these stupid niggas around here are so busy sucking up to all these crackers. See, 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 see the crackers that's moving in the neighborhood right now is um is the pioneers. They moving in to make it way for the rest of them to move in. And every time they move in, these stupid ass niggas, these dumb ass niggas, go sucking up to them, trying to talk nice to them, welcome them into the neighborhood. I know some gay motherfucking white folks that move into the neighborhood and the fucking black folks just love it. They just eating it right up. I know people that's that's uh that, that, that that's renting that's renting these houses from these crackers and the, the Mexicans come in and fix the house up so that the white people can rent them out to us in a so called black neighborhood. Meanwhile the black people is sitting around next door throwing fucking dice at the step. And and and, and and the, and the white folks is just creeping all back into the neighborhood. But guess what? The black folk know it. <clears throat> they notice it. They talk about it. But what the fuck they doing? Nothing. Our race is the slaviest fucking race on the planet. We are literally slave, like like a slave race. That's what the fuck we are. And 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 and, and we don't have to be. We don't have to be, but that's the way they want it to be. Now, um, now, 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 I'm sitting around looking at this shit, and I'm saying to myself, I can't help nobody else. I can't help no fucking body else out. Y'all on your fucking own. I can't be helping nobody else out. And 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 I and I don't I don't even um 
I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Brother Polite. Brother Polite comes to mind when I think about this. Black folks ain't doing shit with their money. So if he did scam y'all, at least he's doing something with the money. <laughs> because y'all ain't doing shit to try to better yourself. At least he did. He taking care of his family. He doing what he had to do for his little girl to have a future. Y'all ain't doing shit but teaching them how to suck up to all these motherfucking foreigners that's moving up in the neighborhood. Now we got these goddamn Arabs and these Indians from over India um, up in the neighborhood owning all the fucking gas stations and the donut shops. And and, and y'all walk in there, the, 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 the Muslims walk up in there, and the Muslims walk in there with their little kufis and shit on, talking about this my brother from over Mecca. They don't care about your ass. That's another thing. The fucking religion. This fucking dumbass religion. Whether you're a motherfucking um, Christian, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Hebrew, even the fucking New Wapians now is sitting down just believing shit, just to believe it. They ain't even, they ain't even searching out shit like Master Teacher told them. They just sitting around the fucking neighborhood just believing everything like everybody else. Um, they and and, and that, that, that at least they like. They telling everybody that um that God gonna make a way. I'm at least God woke me up this morning. Yeah, if God woke me up and started me on my way and all this here bullshit. That's the motherfucking tool. That's the motherfucking uh reason why they brought religion, ushered religion in. All types of religion. Is to make you believe that at least somebody woke you up this morning and at least somebody's going to have your back up in the sky that your dumb ass ain't never seen before. So that makes you sit and content so that Massa can move into the neighborhoods and push your dumb ass out and do what he want with you because God got your back. Uh, I mean, like, like, how, 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 I don't even know how much to say. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, what the fuck wrong with you people, man? It's, it's, it's crazy. And, oh my God. that That's why I can't stand religion. That's why I will always come against religion. is because it is also a tool that's used to manipulate you dumb motherfuckers that don't want to see what's going on. I try to be nice. I try to be nice, but y'all some stupid motherfuckers. For real. So... I can't help nobody out no more. Y'all deserve exactly what the fuck y'all get. Y'all stay right where y'all at. I'm going to keep on putting out messages to try to help people that will listen because, shit, two out of 50 people might listen, but somebody might have more um, influence than me to really start something. So I'm going to just keep putting the messages out, but, but you niggas are stupid. You nigga, you some dumb motherfuckers, for real. Um, I ain't even gonna hold you, man. Like, for real. Um, every time some crackers move into the neighborhood, you love it. You love it. You love those crackers more than yourself. And, and, and every time, every time, like, I seen you stupid niggas walk up in the fucking Puerto Rican, a roach crawling across the counter, right? It'd be a roach crawling across the counter in a Puerto Rican store or even a Korean store. You don't say shit. The first thing, it, it, you, you, you might say, well, everybody got roaches. But the few black places around here, the few black places around here that got their own business, you see a roach in there, you run out telling a fucking body, they got roaches, don't go in there. You stupid nigga. Oh my God. It's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable when you really sit down and think about the state of mind of black people. And I know we did come from slavery and everything. We was took we was um, critiqued to be slaves. That's what we was. We was trained to be slaves. Is in our DNA. But when you sit and look around and admit shit is happening, come on, I ain't the other mo the only motherfucker that's sitting here thinking about this. And everybody's supposed to be fucking smarter than me. Everybody, I got 
I don't know how many motherfuckers that's, that, that's supposed to be more superior than me, but they keep asking me for money to help they ass out. Or they keep asking me to run over their house and do something that their fucking husbands can't do and their sons can't do. That everybody need me to fix something, but everybody's smarter than me, right? Okay. I'm putting my shit together and I'm, try I'm, I I'm trying to do like Brother Polite did and get the fuck out of Dodge because when these fucking crackers come through and put your dumb ass up, it's on you. And all they doing, all they doing, coming in your house and fixing shit up, being nice, smiling in your face so that they can later on raise the fucking rent to a point of where you can't stay there. Or raise the land tax to a point where they have to make an excuse that they have to raise the rent to kick your dumb ass up. And, 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 and I have to admit, man, I, I ain't trying... I, I just might laugh at some of y'all motherfuckers when all this shit happens and, and, and I'm sitting somewhere where the shit won't bother me and y'all dumb motherfuckers start being pushed and shoved all around. I just might sit there and make a video and just laugh at y'all motherfuckers all day because y'all deserve every fucking... Y'all deserve it. Y'all deserve it. Hey, y'all pitiful. Y'all some pitiful motherfucking people. Right here in North Philadelphia, these... These are some stupid niggas. I'm telling you. And here in North Philly, this shit is retarded, right? Years ago, I told these motherfucking people that Daryl Clark sold the land to the goddamn land developers. Now, I called Daryl Clark's office and I told people this too. The damn lawyer told me, uh, not the lawyer, the um, Daryl Clark's... um. One of his secretaries told me that I don't even think she worked for him no more because she said he's a scumbag. Um, she said that, uh, no, she don't work for him no more. But she told me that what they planning to do is start raising shit around here, taxes and everything, so high that the regular um, black folk that live here won't be able to pay them. That's why they got all this shit all around the place, all up and down the blocks. I'll buy your house and all this is shit. That's to get the people to um think about moving. Now, <clears throat> Blumberg, a place called Blumberg, for those from that's not from uh, Philly, don't know about Philly, it was a project complex. They tore that down. So that made business slow over here on Ridge Avenue. That slowed down business because now they scattered niggas all over the place. They 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 demolished two of the high-rise project buildings. Plus that, the white folks that's creeping in the neighborhood that all these stupid-ass niggas keep talking about. Um, white folks moving up in the neighborhood. They want to move the black people out. But your fucking dumb ass over there, and y'all getting drunk and, and drinking beer and selling weed and, 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 and fucking killing each other, ain't trying to do shit about it. And every time somebody like me try to get something together, motherfucker,